Good evening. This evening we're going to be following an evening prayer according to the Northumbrian office, which is based on a Celtic form of daily prayer. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, hear my voice. With my whole heart I want to praise you, O Lord, hear my voice. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, who could stand? Who could stand? I will wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word do I hope. <clears throat> Lord, you have always given bread for the coming day, and though I am poor, today I believe. Lord, you have always given strength for the coming day. And though I am weak, today I believe. Lord, you have always given peace for the coming day. And though of anxious heart, today I believe. Lord, you have always kept me safe in trials. And now, tried as I am, today I believe. Lord, you have always marked the road for the coming day. And though it may be hidden, today I believe. Lord, you have always lightened this darkness of mine. And though the night is here, today I believe. Lord, you have always spoken when time was ripe. And though you be silent now, today I believe. An excerpt from Psalm 90. Lord, how long? Turn and show compassion to your servants. Satisfy us at daybreak with your love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Grant us days of gladness for the days you have humbled us, for the years when we have known misfortune. May your saving acts appear to your servants and your glory to their children. May the favour of the Lord our God be on us. Establish for us all that we do. Establish it firmly. The Old Testament reading is from the first book of Kings, chapter 18. Elijah said to Ahab, Go back now, eat and drink, for I hear the sound of heavy rain. He did so, while Elijah himself climbed to the crest of Carmel, where he bowed to the ground and put his face between his knees. He said to his servant, Go and look towards the west. He went and looked. There is nothing to see. Seven times Elijah ordered him back, and seven times he went. The seventh time he said, I see a cloud, no bigger than a man's hand, coming up from the west. Now go, said Elijah, and tell Ahab to harness his chariot and be off, or the rain will stop him. And the New Testament reading is from St Paul's second letter to Timothy. Before God and before Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, I charge you solemnly by his coming appearance and his reign. Proclaim the message, press it home in season and out of season. Use argument, reproof and appeal with all the patience that teaching requires. For the time will come when people will not stand sound teaching, but each will follow his own whim and gather a crowd of teachers to tickle his fancy. Seasons of joy, seasons of sorrow. Times when the Lord is so real, it seems any activity you undertake is a spiritual experience. 
seasons of dryness, when things are so bleak that even a plate full of Sinai sand would be considered a feast. And are not these seasons from the hand of God? If so, what is his goal in the matter? Is he taking you to that place where you can be a man for all seasons, where seasons don't faze you? No, not even the glorious ones. An old apostle said it so well to a young man, be ready in season, be ready out of season. We are all very subject to seasons, yet these seasons are there to make us eventually seasonless. There is only one way you are ever going to learn to triumph over all seasons, and that is to go through each and every season many times. When you can reckon the sound of abundant rain and the hot blowing of a dry spell exactly the same, then you will be nearing the land of maturity. In this strange season of lockdown, we pray for our country, we pray for our town, we pray for those who are struggling, we pray for the NHS, for those who work in government. We pray especially for those who are sick, for those who are dying, for those who are bereaved. We pray especially for those who are unable to bereave and, gr and grieve in the normal way because funeral services are slimmed back and people are unable to travel. Help us, O oh God, in this dry season to know more of your life-giving water, to bring both refreshment and peace. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. The Lord is my light, my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the refuge of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, one thing I seek, to dwell in the presence of my God, to gaze on your holy place. In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. O oh, wait for the Lord, have courage and wait. Wait for the Lord. In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. Some words of George Herbert. Enrich, Lord, heart, hands, mouth in me, with faith, with hope and charity, that I may run, rise, rest in thee.
See that ye be at peace among yourselves, my children, and love one another. Follow the example of good men of old, and God will comfort you and help you, both in this world and in the world which is to come. Amen.